In 2019, government enrolled a plan to rebuild six schools, targeting 117 schools, a big number were in sorry state as a result of the lockdown. The rebuild has been flagged off with 47 schools constituting eight in Nakore region, 12 in Uganda region, two in Usoga, three in Wokedia, two in Wunyoro, among others. The ambition is a total of 69 schools before the end of May this year. School closure saw a drop in schools facility, further congestion upon schools return led to suffocation of available space. Government has now started supplying temporary tents to affected schools. The ministry has been supported by our development partners to help us with temporary arrangements and mainly these have been through tents, provision of tents. And in this regard, we appreciate the support that has come through our partner, UNICEF. They've already distributed 49 tents to our schools in 13 districts. Now, some schools are getting seven tents depending on the uh, magnitude of need. Mojimba, the ministry spokesperson, has instructed district leaders to ensure accountability. This money for minor maintenance is not for setting up new classrooms. It's for repairing maybe desks or some infrastructure that has been destroyed but it's not for emergency or disaster response. That needs a lot more money. So all these funds are available by the local governments. So it's important that our leaders, especially the representatives of the people, members of parliament, councillors, reach out to your local government and get interested in how much funding has come from the central government towards improvement of service delivery. The ministry has also responded the cause to stabilize fee structures. The intention of this research, which is being undertaken by government, is to find out hard evidence from the schools and from households on what kind of charges and fees are they asked to pay in UPE and USE schools. And this will help us as a ministry to have a, not just a better understanding, but also to know when we are regulating fees, what is it that we should regulate for. Ramla Katumba, CTV, PM Edition.